Welcome to the Carbonite Jedi, where the Force will be with you always. In today's video, I found an article uh, that is talking about Hayden Christensen. They interviewed him uh, and his Clone War era Anakin. So let me uh, get this up for you. All right, there we go. So it's showing, showing Hayden Christensen as Anakin and Ahsoka in the world between worlds. And it said, Ahsoka, Hayden Christensen on playing Clone Wars era Anakin, the meaning behind the world between worlds scene, working with Ariana Greenblatt and more. It says in an interview with Dagobah Dispatch, Entertainment Weekly's Star Wars themed podcast, the publication sat down with Hayden Christensen to discuss the actor's return in Ahsoka. Some of the topics included what it was like to be an older, wiser version of the character, creating a relationship between Anakin and Ahsoka, and getting to swing a lightsaber around again. That was pretty fantastic. A fascinating part of the discussion centered around Anakin's appearance in the world between worlds. Dagobah Dispatch asked about his interpretation of the Anakin shown in Part 5, where he teaches Ahsoka a lesson through various flashbacks. His response highlights how the Anakin shown in the series is the culmination of all the character's experiences and how it was a version of the character he always wanted to portray. I was getting to play a version of this character that I hadn't done before, and when we met Anakin in the World Between Worlds, it's sort of me getting to play the totality of Anakin and Darth Vader. It's an understanding of everything he's been through, and then when we go back to the Clone Wars flashback, that's just awesome, and it was. That was a version of the character that I was aware of when we were doing the prequels. When we went to go do episode three, George Lucas spoke a lot about what had happened in between episode two and three. And of course, that was what Dave Filoni spent a lot of time exploring in the animated world. But I never really got to play that. And I remember when George was describing Anakin during the Clone Wars as being this great hero and a great leader, I thought, wow, that's really cool. I wish we could see a little bit of that. And we do a little bit. At the beginning of episode three, you get a taste of it, but then very quickly he becomes consumed with all of the inner conflict again. And then when I went and was preparing for Obi-Wan, I went and I watched the Clone Wars and I got to see that version of the Anakin. I was very taken with it and I thought, man, that would be really exciting to get to do that in live action. And so when Dave told me that we were gonna get to do that, it was a real gift. And I just felt very privileged to get to do that. There's Hayden in the world between worlds. Next, Hayden Christensen discussed how he approached the relationship between Anakin and Ahsoka. His response expresses deep respect for the work that's come before and for his co-stars. Establishing the dynamic between Anakin and Ahsoka, the stakes were high because there were a lot of people that were already invested in the relationship and this was the first time we were getting to see it in live action. I love getting to do that. It's a side of Anakin that is just very compelling, very confident. I think he's a good teacher to Ahsoka. And you see that he really does care about her. So it was important for us to get that across too. But Rosario Dawson and I go back. We met each other when we were both teenagers. So there's a natural kind of rapport there. And it's so cool to get to do this with her. And then with Ariana Greenblatt too. When we were doing stuff with young Ahsoka, she was phenomenal. They couldn't have cast the role better. So it was all set up for us to win. That was a great feeling, and I just loved how Dave conceived it and guided us through it. And the end result, I was very happy with. I really loved how it came out. And there's the Clone Wars with the young Ahsoka. Lastly, Hayden Christensen discussed his excitement over getting to do more lightsaber action sequences. He expressed his childlike glee he had when he discovered that the script called for it and how appreciative he was to be able to do it. I mean, any chance I get to swing a lightsaber is an awesome opportunity. And when I was reading the script for the first time of episode five, I was like a giddy little boy. I was like, oh, I'm going to get to do all this awesome action and I couldn't sit down. I was pacing around the room just reading the script and I remember putting it down halfway through and I messaged Dave and I was like thanking him profusely. 
With the Hollywood strikes now over, many of the stars in Ahsoka are finally getting a chance to speak on their work in Ahsoka, including Iman Espandi and Diana Lee and Santo, who spoke on what it was like joining the show. Actress Natasha Lou Bordizio and Ivana Sacno also had an opportunity to speak about their time on the show, including the chemistry between them and their characters. And that's it. So I found it really neat that Hayden came on here and talked about his time on the Ahsoka show in the Clone Wars and the World Between Worlds. I, I, I never expected to see him in the World Between Worlds. It was such a mind blow on uh, episode five and especially how they had him transition back and forth from Anakin to Darth Vader and how like he said, he used the experience of both Anakin and Darth Vader to train Ahsoka in the world between worlds. And he got to go back in time to the Clone Wars with the young Ahsoka. That would be so fantastic if they could make a, a live action series of the Clone Wars between Anakin and Ahsoka. It's just... It would be mind blowing. I know a lot of people were so ecstatic when on episode five, he, he just walks out. Well, actually it was the end of episode four, I believe when he's like, Hey Snips, didn't expect to see you here. I believe that's what he said. And then there he is, Anakin Skywalker. Transitioning from blue to red lightsabers fighting Ahsoka, trying to teach her something. Wonder if he'll be back for the next season. He should. He's he's really cool. And, you know, back during the Clone Wars, or uh, back during episode one, two, and three, well, actually, two and three, a lot of people weren't taken by Hayden Christian, so they didn't think he was a good actor. I think... At the time, he, he did what he needed to do. <laughs> he did what he needed to do with him in Obi-Wan and Ahsoka. He has matured so much that his role and his acting ability is so much more deeper and in depth than it was as Anakin in episodes two and three. Hopefully he can keep showing up. I mean, everybody is like loving Anakin now. It's, it's, it's amazing. It's, it's just like a 180 degree reverse from when episodes two and three were released. We'll see. We'll see what the future has in store. Well, that's it for this video. But if you come back, I'll have more sci-fi and star wars content more black series unboxings more live streams more movie watches you never know what's going to happen go to my community tab on my youtube page and you'll see upcoming things that are going to be happening i usually try to post once a week for things i might be doing either a live watch or a, a live stream usually on friday nights so join me i usually have a panel of people that join me that are star wars fans i hope you're having a wonderful week and may the force be with you always thank you so much for uh, watching my video